was a very friendly and caring and loving child and miss him a lot. Anthony Sankovic was just 14 years old when he died. It was then his mom learned of something teens call the choking game. While he was in the hospital, some kids had actually um, started talking about um, the choking game and um, worried that they wouldn't be able to stop doing it. In fact, there's been at least 416 deaths across the country in the last six years. Dr. Nancy Bass is a pediatric neurologist. Usually they do it in a group initially and they will either take their hands and compress the neck or they'll tie something around the neck, wait until the person looks like they're about to pass out, take their hands off the neck or release the tie. And there is a description of this sense of euphoria when the blood rushes back to the head right when they're about to pass out. Anthony, alone in his bedroom, used a scarf. Tied it around his neck in a loop so they knew that it wasn't suicide. It wasn't tied like a noose. His mom believes lives can be saved through education. Educators, if they could be less fearful of letting people come in and do presentations in their school, thinking that they're the ones that are introducing a topic that's going to cause a child to have some type of event, it'd be better if they would let everyone be educated so that parents could continue the education at home. In Brimfield, where another teen died, Police are going into schools. A lot of them knew what it was. Um, I mean, we recently had a death this, this year with a student from the, uh, the middle school, and uh, it, it definitely hit home with a lot of them. A lot of them are well, well aware of what it was, and a lot of them have participated in this style of game. And medical experts also believe only education can save lives. Parents are concerned about, sometimes about physicians talking to their patients about certain risk-taking behaviors. But I think the world has changed. And Dr. Bass says she knows of at least five Northeast Ohio teens who have died because they didn't fully understand just how deadly the risk really was. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.